Hello, today we'll be going over a new Trumpia feature that enables you to create automated workflows called Workbench. Workbench can be fully customized to combine individual features into a flowchart for appointment reminders, surveys, data capture campaigns, and other automated workflows. You can even choose either start from scratch or build off one of our over 50 plus pre-built templates that are based on campaigns that our own customers have used to great success. Today we will guide you through the steps to build an appointment reminder workflow from scratch and we'll use a dentist office that will notify specific patients three days prior to their appointment date for our example. The first thing we'll need to do is select a trigger. A trigger is a main condition, single or multiple, that needs to be met in order to start your automated workflow. Since Workbench allows multiple triggers to kickstart your workflow, in this example we'll be using the distribution list trigger and contact data trigger which will include all contacts in the distribution list selected by the dentist and filtered by the appointment date. Let's get started. For our use case, we will first need to choose the contact list trigger, which will prompt us to select one distribution list. I'm going to select the dentist reminder distribution list and select add. Now I will set the second trigger, which is the condition based on the contact data. For this, I'm going to select the contact data appointment date and since the date is known, I'm going to select the option is known and then going to go ahead and select save. This completes the initial trigger event step and I can start working on the rest of the workflow. So now I'm going to add some of the flow control options. I'm going to drag in a delay option here to delay this workflow until three days prior to the appointment date. I'm going to delay it until the custom data date. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this for section, which will map the appointment date data. And then I want to go ahead and set it for three days. I'm going to go ahead and select before and then do three days prior and select save. Next, I'm going to drag in the action item. First action item is going to be send a text message. I'm going to go ahead and drag this text message here and add a description, reminder message. This will be the reminder message that goes out three days prior to the contact's appointment date, which is going to be, your appointment is three days away. Are you still able to come in? Please respond with yes or no. Once I'm satisfied with the message, I'll go ahead and click save. Now that I have finished my first action item, I want to go ahead and drag in a wait for option, which enables the system to wait for these contacts to respond to the initial message. I'm going to set the condition to wait for four hours. To accomplish this, I'm going to go ahead and select inbound mobile message and then select inbound response. Our system is going to wait for their response. Next, I will set the time we just went over to four hours and then go ahead and click save. Next, we want to go ahead and drag in a flow control branch. These branch systems are set on particular criteria. The criteria I would like to set up is for an inbound response. So I'll go ahead and click on the branch and set my first condition. This condition is going to look for particular responses to my message. I'm going to go ahead and select the response inbound message, which will be equal to yes, uppercase yes, and enter in any other particular answers that we might receive in the original text message. Now that I have entered in all my response inbound messages, I want to select add and then I want to set another branch and add a condition for all the responses that I receive that are no. I'm going to follow the same steps I did for the response is yes branch. I'm going to go ahead and enter in all the responses that I might receive. Now that I've set both of my conditions, I'm going to click add and save. Next, I want to go ahead and set some action items that link to these branches. First one will be an action item of send to text message for all the responses that are equal to the yes responses. Second, we will drag another action of send a text message for all the responses that are equal to no. I will go ahead and link these actions to the branch action and then go ahead and set the first message for the yes response. And it's going to be a thank you for confirming your appointment. Great, we look forward to seeing you. So when I receive any of the responses that I set for the original message, then Workbench processes the responses and sends the relevant text message automatically. And then I want to go ahead and set the second text message for the nose. I will set my description. 
Now I'm going to enter in my message, which will be, if you would like to reschedule, please give our office a call. You will see that I need to select one more action to connect the branch. For this action, I'm going to send a message for this section. I'm going to link it to the branch, and this send a message action is going to be for all the invalid responses. I will set the description as invalid response. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter in the message the clients are going to receive for any invalid response. This message reads, I'm sorry, but it appears that you didn't respond with yes or no. Please reply with yes or no. I'm going to go ahead and save now, and now I can go ahead and link this one back to my wait for tile so the system looks for the yes and no and sends them the correct text message. So now we can go ahead and end some of these portions. We're going to drag in the end action after the send text message of each one. We're going to drag in the end action after the send text message for the yes and no, which will end our workflow for these contacts. Once these are connected, we're going to go ahead and connect the rest of the tiles to each other and make sure each one is linked. Connecting these will help us identify which ones we have issues with within the entire workflow. So as you see, throughout the entire workflow, there is one tile that has a warning marker. The warning marker will have to be fixed before the workflow is complete and an action item is connected to the X marker. I will drag in the send a message action that ends the campaign for contacts that don't respond within the four hour time frame. Now that all our errors have been cleared, we have successfully created an appointment reminder workflow.